Welcome back to another video on my channel everyone. For this video, I am going to be doing a rant on a SML character that has grinded my gears for some time before I stop watching modern SML, and it will be on Hank Hucker do. Before I get started on the rant, no, this will not be a continuation of my rant series, this will just be made for me to vent on how much I dislike this character, there will be one more rant later after this. After that, I won't make any rants for at least a good while. And unlike my old rants, this will be a more normal and organized one that will be more understanding, and most of my points will be coming from the hate sink wiki, so credit to them for making me brainstorm what I am gonna say in this rant. Anyways, let's begin this rant. Okay. Where do I even start with this idiotic bastard? Hank Hucker do has got to be one of my most hated SML characters of all time, next to Mr. Goodman, Barbara Gay, Penelope, and Steve Stalberger. Here are the following reasons on why I severely dislike this character. 1. While he seems to be a friendly and a good parent, this is a facade to hide his very heartless and abusive personality. He hardly even tries to hide it when people show up to his door, as he speaks very rudely towards them, even calling Jonathan a retard, which nowadays is considered a nasty slur and highly offensive. The only people who are allowed to say it are autistic people, including me, since that's their own language. 2. He's massively homophobic as he's prejudiced against the LGBT community and follows the long outdated and debunked belief that homosexuality can be cured. He almost so constantly tells his son to read Leviticus 18.22 of the Bible, not accepting him for being gay, proving that he is a toxic Christian who always believes in outdated and now invalid crap from the past. He's also very ignorant and fully believes he can make his son be straight, to the point that when he mistakenly thinks that Cody says that Timmy tickled his package, Hank says that that's not possible, as they raised the straight boy, which is obviously a very stupid thing to say since Timmy is very obviously gay and there is nothing Hank or Suzanne can do to change that. 3. He is very cruel to his son, Timmy, calling him names and yelling at him for singing horribly, when he actually sings pretty good. At one point, he even threw a pan of cookies at Timmy and his sister, Susan, which is fucking child abuse. 4. He is a horrible husband to his wife Suzanne, as it's mentioned he's cheated on her multiple times with numerous women to the point where she even does it with Marvin, something Hank allows to happen, yells at her to take her tan ass to the room when he throws cookies at his kids, calls her a bitch when she brings him a drink for not having ice in it, and when she does bring him ice. He says he doesn't want the drink anymore and insults her cooking. Also, in Joseph Gets Adopted, he yells at her for rearranging his lawn trophies wrong, threatening to punch her, which is assault and battery. 5. He and Suzanne don't let their children watch TV or movies or have anything fun, forcing them to eat romaine lettuce for snacks and giving them Bibles for presents and birthday salads instead of birthday cakes on their birthdays without even letting them blow out the candles which is just outright ridiculous and unbelievable. They also punish them for things like losing and force them to bathe together to save water and go to bed at 8 o'clock sharp, which is also just unbelievable. Also, if they don't do their homework, they don't let them have any dinner, sending them to bed hungry, which is also considered child abuse. They don't even let Timmy have any sheets for his bed. Because of all this, Timmy is suicidally unhappy with his home life. And, I got to say, I feel really bad for Timmy because of what his horrible father puts him through. 6. He has an intentionally annoying laugh. It is just as annoying as Officer Top and Bottom's hay line, because every time I hear it, I get annoyed very easily. 7. His list of hucker do's and hucker dons says that nobody in the family is allowed to swear, yet he swears all the time, making him a hypocrite even though swearing is freedom of speech. At least his wife calls him out on this twice and forces him to wash his mouth out, and the second time she called him out, he said fuck that, showing he knows he's a hypocrite and doesn't care. His list also says that you are not allowed to lose at something, yet you are also not allowed to be a sore loser, which does not make sense. 8. He mows his lawn at 2 a.m. and don't wake Jeffy, 
not caring if his neighbors would be bothered by the noise at such a time. When Marvin comes over and tells him Jeffy's sleeping, Hank refuses to stop mowing his lawn, not caring if it interferes with Jeffy's sleep, which leads to Marvin knocking him out with a baseball bat. This shows that Hank cares more about his lawn than the sleep of his neighbors. Even though Marvin is not any better since he is unlikable himself, he did a good job giving Hank karma. 9. In babysitting the Huckadoos, he refuses to let his kids go to Outback Steakhouse just because they got B's on their report cards, which getting a B on your report card is no big deal and is actually a good thing, and he forces Marvin to babysit them without payment or a choice in the matter, dumping them off on him. He almost so cheated on his wife in front of her face with a waitress, and by doing this, he basically committed adultery in public and it's surprising that he didn't get arrested. 10. In this firework problem, after Judge Pooby chooses to let Junior and his friends off with a warning for lighting fireworks after the 4th of July, even though Junior and Joseph are not any better since they are also unlikable themselves, Cody is passable though, Hank throws a hissy fit, demanding that they get punished and only chooses to let them go when Judge Pooby threatens to suspend his license for a year over an unpaid parking ticket. Also, when he found out the house almost caught on fire, he was more worried about his trophies than his own children, strongly implying he doesn't actually care about them, which is extremely messed up. In the same episode, he has an intentionally very annoying, overly long, and unfunny bit at the end where he tells his son to say see you later alligator. After while crocodile and then lists a whole bunch of made up animal phrases that he pulled out of nowhere. It was obviously meant to be stupid and unfunny to the viewer to make them hate Hank even more. 11. In Brooklyn Guy the waiter he reveals that he never tips and just leaves life advice, which is illegal since he can get arrested for doing that. He almost so threatens to beat Timmy at one point and refuses to let Susie order a PBJ sandwich since he refuses to let his kids eat sugar. 12. In Cody's boy band, he forces Timmy to leave his boy band without receiving any of the $500,000 the band rightfully earned and sends him home to read the Bible, threatening to send him to a conversion camp, which just makes him even more of a fucking dickhead. What's also worth noting is that he showed up to Marvin's house uninvited, which is trespassing, and when Cody and Junior tried to tell him they weren't trying to turn him into a homosexual. Hank rudely and very disrespectfully told them to shut up and stay away from Timmy, something no parent has any right to do with their kids' friends. 13. The episode The Neighborhood Watch reveals that he beats any raccoons he finds in his yard with a baseball bat, which is animal abuse. It's also revealed that despite being in a bowling league, he never takes Timmy bowling with him. In the same episode, he baselessly accuses Jonathan of being the person breaking into cars and stealing things in the neighborhood and tries to have him arrested without any evidence, though it's hard to feel sorry for Jonathan given how perverted he is. He almost so shows how greedy he is when he tries to offer to do favors for Brooklyn Guy to avoid paying for the damages to his police car Timmy caused. 14. In Junior's stolen birthday gift he and Suzanne refused to return Junior's birthday gift from Cody that was mistakenly shipped to his house and hypocritically accused him of being disrespectful and shouting and then closes the door on his face, which is just outright messed up and just shows how extremely cringeworthy Hank is. Before that, he was prepared to return the gift to sender instead of finding out where it was meant to go, which is also a federal offense. In the same episode. He only allows Timmy to play with the gift for five minutes before confiscating it for himself, afterwards he hits his wife with it, which shows him to be incredibly childish. It's also revealed that Hank is a loser who still wets the bed, which is gross. 15. In the Halloween Purge, it's revealed that he doesn't allow his children to trick or treat, as he believes Halloween is satanic. Not only is this yet another example of how he is a terrible father. But this further proves how idiotic and deluded he is. Besides, Halloween is not satanic, it was originated from the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. 16. In Joseph Gets Adopted, 
He only adopts Joseph upon realizing he's black just so that he can join the NFL and then take 97% of his contract and putting the other 3% in trust so that he pretend he got blindsided by the whole thing. And later on when Joseph fails to impress at his football tryout, he throws a tantrum and even asks why they adopted him. And when Joseph loses a one-on-one -on -one basketball game against Harlem Globetrotter player Moose, he rips up the adoption contract and leaves him alone to cry, not showing any remorse for crushing Joseph's hopes of finally getting a family. Even though I hate Joseph, I felt very bad for him in that video. 17. In the turkey problem, he threatens Timmy by saying that he won't have a Christmas this year if he burns the turkey. He almost unknowingly eats the turkey that was stolen from Bowser and Chef PP, making him guilty of theft. 18. He almost never receives any punishment for his actions, and when he actually does get karma, like when Marvin knocked him out for being loud, Jeffy ate half of his Uber Eats meal and refused to give him a refund, and when Marvin and Jeffy T. peed his house and sent 12 pizzas to his house, losing $300 in the process, it's played for satisfaction, mainly due to Logan not really caring about what his fans want. Which is why I stopped watching modern SML. 19. He is a more unlikable version of Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. At least Ned has some things in him that made me actually like him, while Hank has the exact opposite. And 20. He is a mini mouse from Tall on Wannabe since they are both cringeworthy assholes who are abusive to lots of people. Overall, Hank Hawker Doo is a disgusting monster and maniac that seriously needs to get his stupid trophies taken away and lose custody of his children because of his immaturity, and I hope he gets a much bigger karma moment, and he needs to be thrown in jail because of his psychopathic attitude. Anyways, that's all I have to say, this is Chase, over and out.